Okay, maybe you could tell my voice has been a little, uh, have like frogness to it. And uh, I've been dealing with a sore throat here, but working from home, we've powered through. I've been learning though, I'm not alone. Sore throats are one of those things that many people try to power through. And I'm here to tell you, or at least learn, maybe we're wrong. Dr. Jennifer Caldwell is here. I think I'm gonna get a scolding on this one because I have been battling this sore throat for a few days. It's always my weakness. This is not anything unusual though. I'm not alone, right, Dr. Caudill? You're exactly right. Uh, yeah, Mucinex actually did a survey of over 2,000 adults, found that first of all, sore throat pain was one of the top three most debilitating symptoms that people mentioned, uh, in addition to fever and migraine. But as you mentioned, there's a number of people who will continue to power through sore throat symptoms. In fact, 55% of the respondents said that if they had a sore throat, they would power through them. So no, you're not alone, but um, this does bring up a really important point for all of us, which is to make sure that we are addressing sore throat symptoms the best we can. What is it about the sore throat? Is it one of those things that, and for me, sometimes it leads to other things this time around. It's really just kind of changed my voice a little bit, had a bit of the like nose running kind of thing. All of those symptoms I normally do just try to power through, but is it a magnifying mm -hmm. glass to something bigger? Well, sometimes it can be actually. Uh, the, the family doctor and me is sort of thinking about what we call the differential diagnosis. You know, so, sore throats uh, can be uh, uh, due to allergies. They can be due to, uh, you know, yelling or screaming a lot. They can be due to colds and flus, which of course we're coming into cold and flu season. So it can be a number of things, you know. When we come into cold and flu season and when our sore throat is a part of that spectrum, right, we might have other symptoms as well, the muscle aches and pains, fever, stuff like that. There are a lot of great over-the-counter options that can help. You know, Mucinex is the number one uh, doctor trusted over-the-counter cough and cold brand. And uh, it, they've actually come out with a new line called Mucinex InstaSoothe. Um, this is a new line of lozenges as well as sprays that's really designed to help numb and soothe the back of the throat. Um, there's an ingredient in the lozenges, which is kind of long, I'll say it though, it's called Hexyl Resorcinol, also called Hex. But that is a, a, a local anesthetic that we use topically in the back of the throat to help numb our throat. So um, when it comes to sort of cough and cold symptoms, uh, those are some things that really might help sort of soothe that sore throat. Uh, yeah, and I'm getting from team. My bosses are watching too, saying, get Natalie some of that right now, especially has, since it's focused on sore throat. And just kind of that big picture, though, you know, of course, the focus is sore throat today. But what are some of the tips, or at least what are some of the things that you want people to keep in mind as we're entering that time where we see an increase in colds and flus? Sure. Um, yeah, you know, I think a holistic approach is, is sometimes best. And we're also coming into holiday season as well as the weather gets colder. So a um, couple of things just to make sure that we're not overstressing ourselves. Uh, as we get into the wintertime, we're back to school, back to work, holiday season's coming up. It's important to really give our bodies a break because stress can impact our immune system. Also making sure that we're sleeping enough, making sure that we're fueling our body with the appropriate nutrition that's healthy and, and well-balanced. But exercise is great too uh, to keep our body in tip top shape. And we can't forget things like hand washing, uh, wearing our masks, social distancing, and all that good stuff. We cannot forget those items. I'm so glad you talked about that too. And again, I only say this because I'm working from home, so I'm not going into the office sick or anything. Right. But again, we're sharing the website, mucinex.com. Since there are different types, is that really the best place to go to learn about what may and work that, for you? Yeah, I'm glad that you mentioned that mucinex.com is definitely the right place to go for more information. Well, Dr. Caudill, I'm so glad I got to talk with you today, especially with the possibility of lozenges. Again, you can probably hear it as a doctor. You're probably thinking in your head like, Natalie, you got to do something about that, right? You can say <laughs> well, it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not thinking that, but um, <laughs> since you feel it, hopefully you'll get some relief soon. Good deal. So nice to talk with you today. Thanks for your time, okay?